Hey, y'all, can I say the switch up was real? The switch up was real. I can't believe that switch happened that, that quickly at the end. To go from... <laughs> Forms like, um, I don't know. I was like, really? What was that came? What that came from? Check it, y'all. Y'all, what's up? My name is Mizzy. Watch my channel, Mizzy14, and I'm back doing a review of MTV Catfish, Season 8, Episode 85, T and Abraham. Abraham. So let's get into it. I'm not going to try to make this long, because at the end of the day, the episode was, uh, all right. It was all right. So T is from New Jersey. Her name is Latonia, but they, everybody call her T. She's New Jersey, 33 years old, as a nurse assistant. So she was in a whole relationship. She was engaged to a fiance and they had a dream house, but something wasn't feeling like, you know, when you with that person in the house together, you still feel empty. That's what she was feeling. So at, she started talking to somebody on Facebook, somebody named Ibrahim, hit up on Facebook in the DMs and he started going chatting back and forth. She built an emotional co connection with him and then started building feelings for him. After she started creating feelings, after she realized that the fiance that she had got engaged to is not the person she thought he was. So from that, she broke it off, and then she wanted to continue to pursue Ibrahim. And um, he was good, and they, she went through a lot as he been there for her. So I think after a month of them talking, he decided to get off Facebook because it was on Facebook. It was chatting and then he just deleted his Facebook account. And then to be honest, I don't really barely use Facebook Facebook like that either. I have it to, to uh, promote my videos and like that. Other than that, I'll barely be on it. My main source of social media is Twitter and Instagram. And I'm on my Discord as well. So if y'all want to join my Discord and chat with me and watch do watch alongs and we do show viewing together and we have a discussion, click on the description box down below. And click on my Discord and join me, y'all. What's up? So like that. So I understand. But I was like, okay, no other social media you have with him. He just delete his Facebook. I mean, I guess he said it was a lot of things going on. He wanted to be with his business. And that's that. So you know the whole spill of trying to meet up because we find out he lives in New Jersey too. So she's in New Jersey. You in New Jersey. And y'all have not met each other. Come on, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? It is so easy and convenient to meet each other. Unless you live in a place that you need to have a car and you can't get to each other. But it's a way. So he kept be like dodging meetups. Like she trying to meet with him. She haven't FaceTime with him yet. Never meet up. They had talk on the phone. And she loves that he have a deep voice. Now, she already have much photos except for those two pictures she has on Facebook that she got. And to be honest, she didn't really ask much information about him either. Don't have his last name. Don't we have any socials? This, that. So it wasn't much. So she just started for love of how he was tall, he dark skinned, he was handsome, he had the deep voice. So, you know, like a chocolate. And she was so enamored, especially the voice, because she said, oh my God, it's like. Because you, when you see the pictures, you can't barely see the face. You can't barely see the face. It's so dark. You can't really see the features. So she said, you really got much to go for for this picture. So how much? What, what else? Like, what do you get for him that you say that you so in love? Like, she's just so in love. I think I'm falling in love. I just been moving to earth in love. We go, I go. Right. So that's that. She just she was falling in love, so she having a good time. We do know that he he works in the restaurant, some way, shape, or form, and fashion. And 
they say, okay, we need to hit up her because we need to see what's going on. She's in the jerk. So she's like, oh, hey, what's going on? Everything, you know, well, situation with my ex fiance and everything's not working well. So, you know, I'd rather come to you because, you know, Cammy and, Neve, um, Cammy and Neve go to them. So it said, as they could travel. So they said, now we'd rather come to you. They said, okay, cool. You know, MTV, you know, production will get the flight, book them the ticket. Had them come over there, put them in a nice little Airbnb house or whatever little house they got rented for the um, filming. And that's that. And I said, like, yeah, I just want a free trip to L.A. I mean, no problem to you. They paid for it. I would take the free trip, too. <laughs> you know, come out of your pocket. So she got there. So when they said to sit down and talk to her, they Neve only mentioned the name, Ibrahim. Him. And she was like, To right, front, and back, side to side, just for the name. Nothing else, just the name. And she was so smiling to ear for ear. I said that he must have some good conversations because, girl, you is beaming. I woke up this morning and the sunshine is shining. I put on my happy face. That's what it was. So, you know other issues that other excuses he was making that not meeting up like you know his phone is janky he got the obama's phone you know that free government assistant phone that you get and he said the first time he dodged meeting up with her because he had to babysit then the second time trouble with his mom and stuff like that now and do the midst of that conversation he asked her what does t stand for like what is show for and she said tara now we find out her name is not really actually Tara. Her name is Latonya, but she told him name Tara because at that time she was a fiance. This is when no, she wouldn't give it the real name and everything. So she was a little cautious. So she gave a fake name. But we come to find out once he gave her the name and she spelled the name, he went to get a tattoo. Now she never asked him to do that. And I was like, boy, why is he doing that? Because now she lied to you giving a fake name. Now you make it as a, if it was him. It's like serious, it's disastrous to you get the tattoo of her name and it had it right in his neck, Tara. And I said, oh no. First of all, I don't even got no tattoo on my damn self. So why would I get a tattoo for somebody else on my body? No. No, my name on my tattoo. The only people if I ever tattoo on my body would be my mother, if I my siblings, my brother, if I my niece and nephews, or whatever, on my name. Basically, I love my name. If I ever get a tattoo, I'll probably get my name first. But other than that, nobody else. Especially you never met the person, you never be in a deep relationship. That's kind of like risky. And boy, I'm a session. But he got the tattoo. So it is legit. I was like, oh, yeah, it's going to be serious when she tell him that that's not her real name. So... They took the photos. He said, let's see, because you keep talking about how he, how he is, how he is. Let's see the photos. They didn't have much. They said, we can't really see the features. Like that. She said, wait, Cammy. Wait till you hear the voice, Cammy. Wait till you hear the voice, Cammy. Is the voice? Is the voice? So, so I'm like, he was all right. So let's call him. Call him up. He might not pick up, but call him. He actually picked up. He picked up. They started talking. Yes, he has a deep voice. And yes, sometimes when you listen to him talking on the phone, the man got a deep voice, it does turn you on a little bit. It's like, See, my voice ain't that deep, so it is what it is. But you would say I have a nice voice, but whatever. So they started investigating. So after the hang up the phone, she said, See, 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 why you look at me? Why you looking at me, girl? Like, <laughs> yeah, the deep voice does sometimes do it for you. So they're investigating. They had the photos, and it was no hit. So it could be a good or a bad thing. The good thing is that it may not be, it wasn't like, Somebody taking a picture of an influencer, or something like that, was very popular. So it's not that type of catfish because you know, usually catfish will send a picture of someone who's popular and they take their pictures and use them like their own. It's not that, but also at the same time, it's like it's no traces of him anywhere, like with the Ibrahim and none of that, the name, the pictures, none of that really coming up. So that was that. So they just 
search the name and the tattoo to see if they get anything out there. It seems might have that name tattoo. He finally found that and no hit either. So now it started to believe the it made me for Cammy start to believe that maybe that tattoo is legit. And it's kind of scary though. So they checked the phone number, not really much hit, but so I said, let's check the phone number through Cash App. So they checked the phone number through Cash App and it came up to I Hennis because she never got his last name either. So they searched that name, came to a Facebook picture with somebody living in Egypt. And I said, this face does not match the voice that you were talking to. So from there, they really had much to go for them. They really had nothing. So they went to talk to T, the brought her up to speed. And not much. Everything I told you, they told her. And she started do that. She said she wanted to see him. She was do this as much. And I just need to know why you kept docking and dodging. Like, come on, this is time. When me, I managed to start my life with him and everything. She like at this point, she was so in love. She was so in love. Looking so crazy in love. Got me looking, got me looking so crazy in love. When I talk to my friends so quietly, who you think is looking what you did to me? <laughs> so they contacted him. Because he was like, we got nothing else. You mind to call him. So they called him. He answered the phone call. And he talked to him a little bit. And he was a little nervous. He said, nah, I, I can't. I can't. Give, give me like three to four months. No, not three to four months. Give me like a month. Like three to four weeks. And I'll be good to me. I'm not ready. I'm not comfortable. Also like that. So T talked to him. And he said, I can't do it. So I would definitely call you back. I will call you back. So that was that. I said, oh. So when you put long and hanging up, um, prolong and meeting up with someone, that's like real flag. And she's like, what is you hiding? Like, all oh, you hiding something? You got a secret fiance. You got a whole secret life, a whole wife there with kids. Like, what is you hiding? So, so after that, me get a text from Ibrahim, him, and said that I did thought about it so well and I, my, this your thought he don't want to hurt Tara, so he would like to come and talk to her, but he didn't want to be at where he was at, New Jersey. So he got a trip to LA as well. I said, Man, hey, I think a free trip. I know that's why <laughs> they say if you catfish, I fly to LA. Sure, if I sure I never been to LA myself, so I will fly to LA too. Shall pay my trip. <laughs> So they say got the producer told them they got the ticket. They got to reach a hold of him. They're gonna be the flight. It should be arriving any minute. They told T, and she said, "Oh my gosh, I got so excited! Like I don't." And just started getting nervous. So now they, I guess, are trying to pick it up and see what's going on. He said, uh, "They said Ibrahim sent even text saying that uh, I don't know." He basically getting cold feet. He said, I don't know, it is too much. I had this perfect thought in my mind, how we would meet, and it's not working the way I planned. They said, listen, we're going to send your location to a park, come to the park and everything, and we could talk this out. Like, you made it this far, because basically at this moment, he probably did made it to L.A. So we make it to L.A., you might as well finish it. Whether it happened or not, whether she said yes or not, you might want to finish it. So they got to a location. T is worried. She was nervous. She's nervous and everything. And then we saw someone Uber came up and picked up and walked out. And surely believe it was him. It was actually um, Ibrahim. And they talking. And yes, you know, because when he came, he saw it like this. Usually when somebody don't smile and everything, they hold their mouth like this. It's, hiding. it's usually they wanted nobody to pay focus on their teeth and yes the teeth does look jacked up and everything but at the same time teeth will always get fixed but the only thing about that is it's expensive it is definitely expensive so you really have to save up and get money if you want to get your teeth fixed now he did mention that he got in the fight and it like messed with the teeth so he's working on that now with when T met him and everything, and she was like, oh my God, that's all him. That was him. That was him. And it was like that. I said, good. That's him, girl. 
The next minute, you know, when he started showing the teeth, she's like, look about everybody on mute. She said, oh my God, my mind's throwing a blank. My mind is throwing a blank right now. I said, a blank, girl. You have, girl, you just speak to God. I'm just loving your life. You're so in love with him. Now you got nothing to say because it was teeth. Now I got square to yes, teeth could get fixed. So it's not really a big deal at that time moment. Maybe you was like, listen, if you don't comfortable meeting out and going like that, maybe I now I see you. We could do an in-home thing. We don't have to go out. We could FaceTime now. Like, come on. We could do other things so you can get to the point where you get your teeth fixed and you be comfortable to hang out. But she had nothing to say. So they need to talk to him. He is 33. He does live in New Jersey. He does have no kids. He doesn't have any kids. He never was married. He's single. He is a prep line cook. So he prepped the food for the um things. They work in the restaurant. So everything he basically said was legit. And the only thing about it is that the reason why he wasn't comfortable and meeting up with her because he was trying to work on getting better teeth and all that stuff. And that's why hey, he was hesitant because he's scared of rejection. And he know that if he does talk and if a female see it, she would get they would get turned off about it. And I, like I said, I get it. I'm not knocking nobody who they feel. You track them who you want to track. You like what you want to like. You got your little standards and everything. I said, like, look, I got a gap in my teeth. Some people love it. Some people don't like it. So it is what it is. And I'm not changing them because I love it. <laughs> so like that. So like I said, that could be fixed. It's not like something he can't fix. Everything. So. It, it wasn't a much. And I said, girl, you was so in love. So after he said all that, he pulled this out. Like, he was no douchebag. He seemed legit. She's standing there. She said, I don't, I don't know. So at first she was scared because he actually did show that he got the tattoo because he didn't want to show how he, he loved and he wanted to prove how serious he was. And she freaked out and she finally told him his name was Tyler. He said, oh, you could have told me, you could have told me. Like, he didn't get mad, but he said, you could have told me. She said, I never really told you to, you should have got it. Yes, you should have got that tattoo. But at the same time, yes, she could have at least told you way a long time ago, but she didn't expect you would get the tattoo. So after that, she came and said, you know, it's a lot going on and everything. First of all, remember, I told you she was all, And then she's like, you know, it was a lot going on and everything. So, you know, maybe can we just be friends? I don't know. Let's take it slow. Can we take it? I was like, er, wait, I said, girl, you say you were just in love with her. You want to cuff it. And that all of a sudden, you just want to be friends? She friends on him real quick. And then, so they separate, you know, need to talk to Ibrahim and Ibrahim and Cammy talked to because Cammy talked to freaking um T because me and Cammy both was like, Girl, that's not what you was doing a minute ago. You was so happy and bliss, you about to do a backflip over the end, especially when you first met. She's like, oh my god, that's him, that's him. And T, so, she's like, um, so she said, Yeah, I just don't know, it's a lot going on, it's moving too fast, and I don't think I'm in a relationship, ready to relationship that yet. But I said, girl, you said you was ready and you want to move forward with him. But she said, yeah, it's a teeth. It's a teeth. I said, okay. Okay, girl. If you can't move past it, just be honest. Open the honest women saying that I can't look past the teeth. <laughs> you know how superficial that sounds? It's how freaking crazy. But at the same time, like I said, it could be fixed. Hey T, hit up Dr. Heavenly. She she will do wonders with everybody else in business. But um that's that. So she wanted to make him his best friend, make her his best, make him her best friend. And he didn't want the best friend. He wanted something more than that. He understand, but he did both that require a little bit because he just felt hurt because he was hoping that he'd come there. He took a courage to come over there. Knowing that maybe you might get turned off because he got teeth and he no his teeth is jacked up and everything, but 
that's that. He took courage. So now came out here and get rejected like this after y'all been talking like that, having a good time. <laughs> good, I don't know. But that's that. So afterward, they say their goodbyes. The friendship didn't really last long. She moved forward to future endeavors. He moved forward. He hoping that one day he would have the smile and have the person that he hoping to be with. And go from there. He wishes the best. They haven't been talking since that time they really fell out. And that's that. But that was my review of MTV Catfish, y'all. Tell me how y'all feel about this episode. Like I said, I try to make it to me as much as possible. And yes, that was a little switched up at the end. But it's still, I still need more of these episodes. Like how we know Catfish used to be. Come on, we need to get some hypeness, like some twists and turns. I was in a wooless Catfish. Like I want to go in. And lately I, have, I couldn't go in. All right, y'all. So tell me how y'all feel. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out.